Hey y'all, it's Lynn with A Fresh Coat of Fabulous and I wanted to give you a sneak preview of what I'm working on. I'm working on a really cool desk using some of the new Dixie Bell Bells and Whistles transfers. And I just wanted to take a quick minute and show y'all how fun these are and how easy they are to apply. For this project, I'm using the Bells and Whistles Tropical Leaves transfer. This one is six sheets. They come in four sheet or six sheets. So they're 28 or 32, depending on if you're choosing the six sheet or the four sheet designs. Um, so the Tropical Leaves is six sheets, so it's approximately $32, $31.95, something like that. So I'm using this on top of a color called Mermaid Tail, and it comes in six gorgeous sheets, transfer sheets. Here's one of them. Okay. So I use one of those on the drawers on the top, but what I love about these Dixie Bell transfers, and y'all excuse my garage floor, but I'm sitting on the floor working. Um, they come in all these different little designs, so you can layer them and make them so unique and custom and it's so much fun. So they come with instructions and they come with a little burnishing tool. And so I've literally like pieced all these together to make the design that I want on this drawer. And this is one of the pretty leaves. We've got the bird of paradise up here. And I've just layered several different leaves and twigs and this little gold leaf looking lace going on here. And so you just take it off. I cut mine down to the size I need. And then they're on this sticky paper. You pull the paper off. These are a little bit tacky. So you want to kind of decide where you want it first. Then peel the backing off and press it down in the area that you want it. I just love that you can layer these. It is so fun. Okay. You can use these on painted surfaces. You can use them on glass. If you have an old window, you can really decorate it up cute. So I've just pressed this down. And then you take your burnishing tool and start at the edge, is what I like to do, and you just press. And press really hard into the painted surface. Now this has got a couple of coats of mermaid tail, and then I did use one coat of flat top coat. Okay, I'm just pushing this in. I just love how it will transform a piece. So if you're not good at painting detail, you can use these cool transfers. You just rub them on here, getting to all the edges. Now, the transfer is just this piece here. This is clear, so you don't have to rub that. It's going to come right off. I'm trying to do this one-handed and hold the camera. My tripod is busted, so you know, bear with me here. Go all the way to the edge. Now, some people do not do a clear coat. They just go right on their raw paint, their dry paint, I should say, their dry paint with their transfer. You can do that too. The only thing you don't want to do is put it straight on top of gator hide, and you don't want to seal with gator hide because that has a tendency to make transfers curl. So if you want to use a gator hide as your final top coat, I suggest you put, once you're finished with your piece, put a layer of satin or flat or even gloss on top. Let it dry completely, and then you can do your gator hide coat. Okay, so now I want to test this. Go right up here. Just peel ever so gently. See how it's coming up? Let's do a better job right there. So you can get your car mark out <laughs> and your furniture painted at the same time. So pull up very gently, and if you notice that it's sticking to this transfer paper, just lay it back down and apply more pressure. And there we go. What I like to do is put this piece back over and then just rub the edges just to make sure it's nice and secure. And 
that is how you apply the bells and whistles transfers. Are those fun? It's got several different ones I've layered on here. I think it's so cool. There's very little ghosting with these, and if you make a boo-boo or if you accidentally scratch over the paper and onto the painting surface and scratch it, it's so it's really okay. You can just um, go ahead once you're done with your transfer, take some of your paint color and touch that right up. I've done that up here. I accidentally messed up and gouged the edge, so I was able to paint right over it. You can't even tell. And that's how you use a Dixie Bell Bells and Whistles transfer. So y'all check them out. There's 13 different designs. I carry them online at afreshcoatofabulous.com as well as in store at University Pickers at the shops at Grand River in Leeds, Alabama and also the Emporium South in Gadsden, Alabama right off the interstate next to the Gadsden Mall. So if y'all have any questions, feel free to message the page and don't forget to tag me in your pictures when you use a Dixie Bell transfer that you got from me. Have a great day and happy painting.